In this video, I'm snowboarding at Ragged Mountain and I'm going to be using the GoPro 7 Black for the first time. I'm excited to try out its new Hyper Smooth feature. Uh, the Hyper Smooth feature is a built-in digital stabilization uh, feature that allows you to remove the shakiness of your raw footage. I've got the GoPro 7 uh, attached to a selfie stick hanging upside down that gives it some natural stabilization because the weight is being pulled down. And I wanted to see how the camera worked um, while it was following me down the mountain and also while I was spinning with my snowboard, counterclockwise and clockwise. I think the Hyper Smooth feature did a pretty good job of keeping the uh, snowboarder in the foreground and keeping the for snowboarder and the background stable. In comparison, I've got footage from my two older GoPros. Here's footage from two years ago using the GoPro Plus. Um, that camera had no uh, stabilization built in and I've got it in the same setup hanging upside down on a selfie stick. Um, this camera also had a plastic casing to make it waterproof so the found sound was a little muffled. But it's pretty good footage but a, a little bit more shaky than the uh, GoPro 7. From a year ago, here's some footage using the GoPro 5. That camera had um, a stabilization feature built in and I've got it in the same setup uh, with a selfie stick trailing from behind. I've also got this on super view mode so you see more of the snowboarder and the helmet as well as the snowboard going through the snow. It does a pretty good job. Now back to the GoPro 7 footage. Uh, I think compared to those two cameras, this camera did a great job of stabilizing the footage. Uh, the trees and the background look stable, so does the snowboarder. If you'll notice, the selfie stick moves around a bit as the, the digital stabilization is moving the entire picture to make it look smooth. Um, one, thing I didn't, well, re one thing I realized after looking at the footage was that I was so excited to try out this new camera that I didn't realize that it was on the 4-3 aspect ratio. That meant that the picture is taller but a little less wide and that's different than my normal 16-9 aspect ratio. Next time, I'm going to use the 16-9 aspect ratio as well as the um, super wide view to try to get more of the snowboarder in the screen. I like this angle with the selfie stick with this uh, camera trailing you because it allows the viewer to see where I'm going and always keeps the snowboarder in view even when I'm spinning. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment, or subscribe. I've got other snowboarding videos on my channel. If you've got any tips on using the GoPro 7, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks.